Folks, in this review, we're going to be comparing three e-scooters from Segway, part of their Ninebot series. We got an entry level, a mid level, and a premium level e-scooter. Now, the premium level is a little different. The Max G2 also has suspension in the front and the back. We're going to take all three of these for a spin and help you decide which one is right for you. So let's begin this review by just kind of taking a quick overview of the three e-scooters to see the commonalities between them. Because they do relatively look the same, but once you start to dig in deeper, you'll notice that the E2, this entry level, has a larger footboard. And I think that's really good for beginner riders uh, to navigate the streets and kind of get comfortable on an e-scooter. Another thing you'll notice is it has a horizontal display as opposed to more of that vertical display that they show on the other two models. And we'll show you that in just a bit. It. but this one is actually quite easy to to read and I kind of like it especially for entry-level uh, users now the F2 plus is the intermediate mid-level you'll notice that this footboard is slightly smaller than the E2 so you're gonna have to be more an experienced rider to be comfortable on it but here is where I really like see that little hook there that allows you to hook a bag which makes it perfect for going grocery shopping you'll notice that vertical display and the bell is very similar to the e2 um, but it does have a different kind of a heads up display with that vertical display which is very similar to the max g2 which we're going to look at next now again if you look at the footboard or the footboard on this one it is slightly smaller than the E2. It's actually smaller than last year's version as well. So the footboards have gotten narrower, but this also has that kind of vertical display for everything, but a digital horn. Here the horn is digital and has turn signals as well on each side. So a little bit different design, but the big difference is the inclusion of suspension on the front and also on the back. And this is really, really visible. And I got excited to be honest with you when I saw this because I wanted to compare the difference when you don't have suspension. So there we go, a quick overview of the three Ninebot e-scooters. Let's now look at the charging and how you charge them. The E2 is right on the front right there. You would connect the power charger. Same thing for the F2 Plus, it's right on the front and that's where you would connect it. Things get changed when you're moving up to the Max G2. In this case, the charger is not in that front area, but on the side, just like they had it with last year's version. That's where you're gonna be able to plug and to get it charged. This has a bigger motor. Of course, with that bigger motor, you're gonna have more weight and performance. So that comes with it. So there we go, quick overview. Now let's talk about the Segway app. That is where you get everything set up. And there's a lot of different models that you see that Segway makes. I can't wait to one day review that Go-Kart Pro. But for now, let's go ahead and add all three of these e-scooters. Interesting thing about the app, you can start the e-scooter up from the app. It, does, it uses Bluetooth to find the connections. That's why you can see I already just got two right there that were nearby. So you just, that's basically how you bind the e-scooter to the app. And that does give it some security protection. Here I am turning the e-scooter on from inside the app. I don't really know if people are gonna use that feature, but it is built and embedded inside the app. You do get a lot of different customization modes over here, such as this cruise mode. Uh, this makes it allow after a certain period where it just starts cruising. I don't recommend that mode. I think it's a little dangerous. So now it's test driving time. So let's go and start with the E2. Again, this is the entry level with that horizontal display. This is made for beginner riders, has a max speed of 20 kilometers. So it doesn't go that fast. However, it's very, very easy to ride. So whether you are have, a, you say, a young child, maybe 10 or 11 year old who wants to really start riding on e-scooters, this is what you would want to get them, a very much an entry level e-scooter. The next thing I wanted to check was the weight. So first I wanted to fold it down and see how it locks in place, which is something that's very typical. And this one weighs about 31 pounds. I had no issue uh, holding this in one hand. If I had to walk up some stairs, say on the public transit and take it with me somewhere, not a problem. Maybe after a while I would switch hands, but not too bad. Now the F2 Plus, this is the mid-level version of the three. 
kind of the best bang for your buck. Again, I really like this one because of that hook. I see a lot of practical applications on a day-to-day, -day, especially if you use the e-scooter to go grocery shopping. It has that vertical display as well in the center. So very interested to see what you get when you go up a notch with the F2 Plus. And look at that, this one just kicks. It, it, it's speedy. It does have some power to it. Again, this one has a max speed of 25 kilometers. However, inside the app, you can adjust it to a sport mode and get it up to 30 kilometers. Now we're gonna go and see what it's like to carry this one of course is the mid-level slightly heavier i believe this is 39 pounds i had a little bit of issues of getting it to come down over there but again you got to lock it in place make sure you get it on the right side as you can see i'm having a little difficulty because this is really the first time but i wanted to see if i could carry this 39 pounds still able to carry it not with too much problems i could carry this upstairs without too much issue and again after a while I can just switch hands, but it is definitely something you could carry around with you. Now, the big kahuna, the Max G2. This one, again, smaller footboard than the previous year, but it's got suspensions on it. That is freaking amazing if you ask me, but no clip. Why does not the premium level have that bag clip? I was really disappointed to see that it has that vertical display. You see how it sits higher as well on this? It's my arms are going up, but once I'm going, boom! This thing's a rocket, folks. This thing is so fun. Now, it has a max speed of like, I think 30 kilometers, but again, in the sport mode, you can get it to go, I believe, 35.4 kilometers. Trust me when I tell you that feels very, very fast. This has a lot of power, both acceleration and the top speed. But the question is, what about the weight of it? especially when something this big trying to distribute that weight it weighs a whopping 53.5 pounds and i was like whoa i had to strategically place my arm to kind of distribute that weight i'm struggling even to put it up and down now 53.5 is not that hard but when you have it on a, a something that's that wide to try to carry this around was very cumbersome immediately wanted to change hands right away i don't know if i'm going to be able to get this upstairs with one hand i probably would have to use two hands it was freaking heavy okay see it comes a cost with that performance so if i had to choose between the three i'm gonna go with the f2 plus this is the mid-level i think it's the best bang for your buck and it has that hook and i would use that hook almost every time i go to the grocery store just bring a bag with you fill it up and away you go also in terms of this performance maneuverability it really is that mid-level gives you the best of both worlds uh, between the two or i should say the three e-scooters well folks i hope you enjoyed this review of the comparing three nine bots that have just come the out on the market, the E2, the F2 Plus, and the Max G2. Again, if I had to pick, i picked the middle one, the F2 Plus. I'm Handy Andy. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. I'd love to know what you think about these Segway e-scooters.